How do I quit smoking? You ever ask yourself this question? I'm telling you, I get this so often on social media, TikTok lives, etc. And I think on the surface, it's often interpreted as more a matter of, okay, well, what are the steps? What's the method? What do I need to do? But if you take a step back and you ask that same person, okay, well, like, what problem are you really trying to solve? Or what is it you're trying to learn more about? The answer usually manifests in some form of, how do I get rid of the need for a cigarette? And because the need for a cigarette is typically perceived as a chemical problem, the solution tends to be chemical in nature that people offer. Well, you know, you need to just go through the withdrawals and do the cold turkey approach. No, no, no. Use NRT. That'll help ease the cravings, etc. Oh, you could go for a vape, right? And you can reduce the, the dosage that way. Well, you know, all these methods, they have their success rates, and you can look those up there in particularly high, you know, especially if you measure success rates out a year later, they tend to really plummet. Um, doesn't mean, but for some people they work. Right? That's a good thing. That's very true. We want to be real about that. Uh, but what's fascinating about all of this is sometimes I'll ask that same person, okay, well, you ever feel like there's something sort of underneath the surface that's keeping you stuck smoking really doesn't have anything to do with a cigarette at all? And the overwhelming response that I get, and I talk to, I've talked to thousands of smokers at this point, they'll go, yeah. <laughs> or some variation of that, right? I haven't thought about it like that. And so the way my clinic works is we like to address that issue, the thing underneath the surface. Here's an example, right? So somebody gets pregnant and you know and have a kid and maybe it's been 18 months and uh, breastfeeding's over and, and 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 the mother is stressed out right it's just it's dealing with a kid it's a whole lot that she's trying to learn and deal with and manage and and uh, our, our girlfriend says hey hey on you're you know you're stressed out here's a cigarette and unbeknownst to the mother she thinks well i beat this thing you know, I haven't smoked in a year and a half or however long it's been since she found out she was pregnant. Well, so one can't hurt and it always used to relax me. The association's still there. She steps outside and has a smoke. Chemicals are out of her body. They've been for a long time at that point. She's back smoking like she used to within a couple of weeks. And so one might say, well, you're reintroducing the chemicals into the body, but like, if the association around this being a method to relax her still exists, I mean, chemicals can be removed over and over. And that's just one, that's just one thing, right? I mean, it might not even be a relaxing thing for or, uh, uh, an issue with relaxation. It could be something else entirely, but that's the presenting problem. This will help me relax. And the way, again, the way my clinic works, we're, it's really about the individual responding to the individual's needs. So we get in there and, and we do the work. We do the real work. And when we do the real work, person knows they have control of this. And so that's sort of what my approach is. And if anybody's interested in that, you know, and you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, of course, that's always an option. There's a link in my profile. It says Calendly. You click that. You book a call. It's, it's great. We can we can connect that way. Um, and, uh, you know, if you have any questions, fire them away below, right? I, I don't mind making more content around this. It's a fascinating subject. I, I just help a ton of people quit. So I can't wait to help you all out. Uh, take care, folks.